Hello kids, and today we're gonna learn about the animals. Look how many animals we have here. We have giraffe, we have bear that's holding the bee, we have elephant, we have crocodile, we have horse, we have monkey, and we have rhino. And we also have the hedgehog puzzle that we're gonna solve. Let's start. Okay, so let's start with finding the hedgehog. And we have the Mr. Pig who gonna help us. Okay, so let's take this cube and rotate and see if there is the hedgehog or maybe the part of the hedgehog. And if we can't find Mr. Pig, is always gonna help us. Okay, hmm. Does it seem to you that this is the part of the hedgehog? <laughs> yes, Mr. Pig saying. Okay, we found our first piece. Let's go with the second one. And let's rotate and see if there is the hedgehog. Or maybe the part of the hedgehog. If you see, then please let me know. Great. Let's try to find hmm, where it could be. And... Hmm, is this a part of the hedgehog, Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, we found another puzzle piece. We already found two of them. Let's continue with the next one. So the next one gonna be this one. Okay, and let's try to find and rotate. Can you see the hedgehog? Let me know if you see the hedgehog. Let's rotate this way. And if you see the hedgehog, then Tell me, please. Here we have the hedgehog. Great, we found another puzzle piece. Amazing. Okay, let's take this one and rotate. We always should start by rotating the cube and see the, all the images before we decide to take it. Is this a hedgehog? Yes, it's a hedgehog. Great. Let's take this and another one we have here. Okay, where is the hedgehog? We need a violet color, right? Where is the hedgehog? Oh, here is the hedgehog. Great. Another puzzle piece. And let's take this one and rotate. And where is the hedgehog? The hedgehog also is holding the apple. So where it could be? Hmm, Mr. Pig, is this a hedgehog? <laughs> yes, this is the part of the hedgehog. So here is the apple and the part of the hedgehog. Great. So the next one. Let's rotate and see if there is the apples. We need to find the apples. Where they could be? Hmm. This is the apples, but they are small. We need a big one. Yes, this is the big one's apples. Great. Let's take, because this is the part of the hedgehog puzzle. We only left with two puzzle pieces. So, what we have here? We need the hedgehog, the body of the hedgehog. Right, where is the hedgehog? Can you tell me? And yes, here it is. Great. Is this a hedgehog? Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, great. So the next one and the last one. We need a hedgehog with apples. Where is the hedgehog? Let me know where it is. And here is the apples and the hedgehog. Great, let's take this. We found all the puzzle pieces for our puzzle. Okay, let's start to combine them. And here is the face of the hedgehog and the apple. So the next one gonna be hmm, where we should start. It's gonna be this one, the ear of the hedgehog and the hair. Great, and here is the apple. Great, let's take our apples here and combine. We're doing really good. And slowly, always, let's do it slowly like this and great it's coming out really good so here is another puzzle piece here is the face of the hedgehog great and 
Here is another hedgehog part. And the last one. Let's try it. And yes, we've completed the hedgehog puzzle. Great. Amazing. Thank you, Mr. Pig. So the next puzzle that we have was the animal puzzle. Great. So let's do it. So let's pick this one. So who is that? It's a crocodile. Okay, and where is the crocodile? Can you see the crocodile here? Where is the crocodile? Right, it is here. Great. We found our first animal. And next one, let's maybe try this one. And who is that? That's holding the bee, right? It's a happy bee bear. Great. Let's take our bear and place it to this shape. Great. So we need to find the elephant. Where is the elephant? Let's open this one. Is this an elephant? No, this is giraffe. Okay. Is this an elephant? No, this is the horse. Okay, is this an elephant? Let's rotate. Yes, this is the elephant. Great, let's place it here. We found our third animal. So let's try to find giraffe. Is this a giraffe? No, it's a monkey, the happy monkey. Okay, where is the giraffe? Is this a giraffe? No, it's a horse. Is this a giraffe? No, it's a rhino. Okay, maybe this one is a giraffe. Let's turn around and who is that? It's a giraffe, great. Giraffe is going this place and great. You're doing amazing. So we've got the next one gonna be the horse. Let's try to pick our shapes. So, is this a horse? No, it's a rhino. Is this a horse? No, it's a monkey. Okay, so we have this one puzzle piece. Let's open on one, two, and three. Who is that? It's a horse. Great, the horse coming here. Well done, correct. So let's try to find the monkey. And we only left with two puzzle pieces. With this one and this one. So it's a left and right. Which one should we pick? Okay, let's do the right one and turn around. And who is that with the tail? Who is this? Remember? This is right. This is the rhino. Okay. And who is this? Yes, this is the monkey, the animal of the jungle. And where the monkey is going? Yes, the monkey is going to its place, like this. Great. So the next one is the rhino. Well done, we found the rhino. And where the rhino gonna go? Let's see, rhino is trying to find his place. And yes, we've completed the animal puzzle. So we found the giraffe. You see the yellow with orange giraffe. Then we found the bear with the bee holding the bee. Great. The next one is the elephant. The gray color, right? With the big ears. And this one is horse. Let's say it together horse great and after the horse we have who is that you know the name it's monkey well done correct so monkey have a really long tail amazing and the last one you can see this animal in the zoo who is that you know the name let's say it together one two three Rhino, great, congratulations. We've completed the animal puzzle and we also completed the hedgehog puzzle. Well done, 
we've completed two puzzles. You're doing amazing. See you in the next video. And today we're gonna solve the koala. Look, we have a mama koala and the baby koala sitting on a tree. Great, so let's start. Okay, so the first step for us gonna be to find the koala. And how we gonna do this? We gonna do by searching for gray color, gray. So the koala is gray color, right? So what we gonna do, we're gonna take the first cube and we're gonna rotate it like this. And we're gonna search for the gray color or may maybe some kind of part of the koala. Okay, so when we rotate, we're doing this slowly. We are not rushing. So, okay, this cube doesn't have any part of the koala. So we're gonna move this away and we're gonna take the next cube. We're gonna take and rotate and see if there is any part of the koala. Can you see? Let me know. Hmm. Okay, let's move it away at the moment. And then take the next one and rotate and try to see if there is a koala or maybe the gray color. Okay, so let me know when to stop if you see it. Should I stop? Okay, so here we have the ear of the koala, right? And it's a gray color, you see? Great, let's place this puzzle in our board like this. Great, and then let's take the next one. So the next one, let's rotate again. So what we see here is the river, the dirt and the grass. And here we see the bird and the cloud. And what we see here is the cactus. Okay, and here we see the mushrooms and the part of the hedgehog. <coughs> and what we need is the koala. Okay, so here is the ear. You see the ear of the koala, right? So let's take this puzzle piece and place it on our puzzle board like this. Great, let's continue with the next one. And let's try to rotate and see. Who is this? This is the panda. But we need the koala, right? Let's rotate and see. Here we have the leaves. Mm, here we have the sun. Okay, here we have the fox. Okay, and fox, it's not the koala. We need the koala. Okay, so let's try to find. And who we see here? Okay, here we have the koala. You see the gray color, so it's a lag, right? Let's take this one and place it on our board, right? So let's keep searching. And the next one, let's take and rotate. And who we see here is the fox. And here we have the hedgehog. But who is that? Do you know who is this? Can you name this right now? Say it. On one, two, three. Koala, great, congratulations. We found another puzzle piece for the koala. Great, and when you look at those puzzle pieces, you can see that each puzzle piece contains the gray color, the koala color, right? Okay, so next one, take the puzzle piece and rotate and see if there is the gray color. So here we have the apple. And who is that? Do you know who is this? This is the hippo. But we need the koala. Is this a koala? Is this a koala? No, this is the panda. Okay, let's rotate and... Okay, who we see here? This is the koala. Look at this. Great, we found another puzzle piece. So let's place it and let's try the next one. Let's take it and rotate slowly. So here we have the river. Here we have... Hmm, let's... Rotate one more time. Which color is this? Can you name this color? This is the gray color. Great. So let's take this puzzle piece and place. So this is another piece for the koala. Let's take the next one, cube, and rotate, right? So let's rotate. And if you see the gray color, let me know and say stop. Okay, so let's rotate and let's stop, okay. 
we have here. Do you know who is that? Do you know this name? Yes, this is Koala. Great, let's take this and place on our puzzle board. And let's take the next one. So the next one, who we have here? This is who? This is the bee. Okay, but it's not Koala. What is that? It's a apple. Great, and who we have here? Let's see, it's a baby koala sitting on a mama koala. And this is which color is that? Gray color, great. So let's take this to our puzzle board. Amazing. So we almost found all the puzzle pieces for our puzzle board and we still have few left. So let's keep going, let's continue. You're doing great. So let's take the next one. So who we have here? So we don't see any animal. So let's rotate and see. Hmm. I don't see koala. Who is that? Do you know who is this? This is owl. Right, owl, great. So this is owl. And owl is sitting on the tree. Great, but we need a koala. This is called cactus, right? And it's a green color. Okay, so let's move this away because there is no koala and we need a koala to complete this puzzle. So let's take the next one. And what we have here, it's a fox of the panda. And what is that? It's a belly of the panda. Okay, let's rotate. Okay, can we see the koala? Let me know, can we see the koala? Mm. Okay, which color is that? Do you know which color is this? It's a gray color. And what is this? It's a ear of the koala. So we found another puzzle piece for the koala. Great, amazing. So let's take the next one. So what we have here is another puzzle piece. So as we always do, we rotate and then try to find the gray color of the koala or maybe the part of the koala. Okay, and let's see hmm, what we have here. And can you see the gray color? Okay, here is the gray color. Here is the part of the koala. Right. Okay, let's take our puzzle piece to our puzzle board. And we have just few left. So let's take this one and rotate. So this is the pink color. This one is red color. Okay, so what we have here? Uh, okay, which color is this one? Do you know which color is this one? It's a gray color, correct. And it's a baby koala. Amazing, well done. So then let's take next one. And next one, let's again try to find the koala. So which color is this one? It's a red color. And this one color? It's a white color, right? But it's a panda that's eating the bamboo, but we need a koala, right? And this color is which one? It's a gray color. Amazing. So let's place to our puzzle board. And we just have one left. So let's go. So what we have here is rainbow. Okay, so there's many different colors and red color, orange, yellow, green and blue. But we need a koala. So here we have the tail of the fox. So again, let's rotate. Who we have here? Here we have the pink color and it's a hippo. It's a tail of the hippo. Okay, let's rotate and what we have here, let's rotate. What is that? Do you know what is this? It's a ear of the koala. Okay, and which color is that? Right, this is the gray color. Amazing, well done. Okay, so we found the puzzle pieces with the gray color. If you look at those puzzle pieces, every puzzle piece contains gray color. So right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to combine those puzzle pieces into our puzzle. Okay, let's do it. And let's start with the face, right? So here's the eye of the koala, and here's another eye, 
right? So let's take this and great. We just combine two puzzle pieces. And what we need next is the ear of the koala. Let's look for the ear. So here is ear, here is ear. So let's take those two. Let's place them here. Here is another ear, but it's a baby koala. So we need the mama koala. This is mama koala ear, right? So we have ears. So let's try to connect them. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna try to maybe do this, right? Let's try. Hmm, it doesn't work well, but if we're gonna rotate and try to move it like this, then it seems to be great, right? So then let's take another puzzle piece and let's try to take this and maybe place somewhere here, right? Hmm, does this look good? No. So maybe what we should do, we should place it like this. Amazing. So the next one, we should try to find another part of the ear, right? So here is another part of the ear. So what we should do, we should take this and place it next to another part of the ear. Great. So we need the middle part here. So it could be this one. So maybe let's try and great, amazing. So the next one could be the part of the face of the koala and the baby koala, right? So maybe let's take this one part and let's try to move it here like this and combine. Well done. And then what we should do, we should move all parts at the top. So we have more place at the bottom. Okay, so we have the koala and what we need next is the part of the baby koala, right? Because the baby koala is sitting on the mama koala, right? So we're gonna do this. Great, amazing. And then take the baby koala, eye and face, right? And amazing, well done, great job. And then we need the ear of the baby koala. So what we should do, we should take this ear and we should place it here, right? And then we should move it down like this. Amazing, well done, good job. And then we need the legs, right? So here we need the legs. So what we should do, we should take this leg and then we should try to rotate this because the mama quail is holding on a tree, right? Great, so we just found another one. And then the next one, it might be this one. So what we should do, it's a body of the mama koala. So we should place here, right? But the trick that we're gonna do, we're gonna place it here and then we're gonna move right here. So you see the image, the parts of the images are connecting. Okay, so then we need this part of the puzzle. And what it could be? It could be the part where the baby koala and the mama koala. So it could be this one. Great. Let's take and place. Well done. Okay, so we just need to fill with three puzzle pieces. So let's take these puzzle pieces and then rotate because this time we need the flowers to find, right? So we need, a, okay, here we have the flowers. So let's take these flowers and place it at the bottom, like this. Great, so there is another part of the flowers that we need here. So let's take them, rotate and place and great. So we only left with the last puzzle piece. So we need the blue color, right? So can you see here the blue color? Great, and here's the part of the ear of the Mama koala and great, we've completed the koala puzzle. So we found the mama koala, the baby koala, the tree, the flowers, right? So the baby koala is holding the mama koala and mama koala is holding the tree. Great, well done. See you in the next video. Look what we have today, guys. We have shapes we have circle rectangle triangle square and pentagon because it has 
five holes. One, two, three, four, five. We have a puzzle of made of cubes with a rabbit or a bunny with his carrot and we have fishes we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten fishes i know look everything has disappeared what we're gonna do the shapes are gone the puzzle is gone and the fishes are gone let's try to find them and i think they will be in these boxes look yes they are definitely in there let's see what colors we have we have yellow we have pink we have red we have orange we have green and we have blue which one do you want to open first okay let's start with the orange I feel like there is a lot. Ready, steady, go! Woo! Let's see what we have. We have three shapes, two cubes and two fishes. Let's see where we can put our circle. Oh, it has one hole and it goes here. Let's see where we can put our triangle. No. No. Yes, three holes. Look, one, two, three. And let's see where we can put our pectagon. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Yes, well done. Now let's see. We have two cubes. And we should be able from these cubes to make a rabbit. Huh. Okay, let's leave it. It's here for now. We have we need to find another two or three cubes to be able to complete a puzzle. Okay? So for now, let's leave it here. And two fishes. We will need to put it in order. We have number one, it definitely will go will be first. And we have number three, so it definitely will be somewhere here between number two and number four. Let's open another box. Let's open the pink one. Ooh, sounds like there is a lot. Whoa! We have another cube, three shapes and one fish. Let's start with shape. We have a rectangle. Let's see where we can put it. Maybe here. Maybe here. Hmm. No. It has two holes. And it definitely will go here. Yay! Well done. Next, we have our square. Let's see where we can put our square. Maybe here. No. Maybe here. No. Maybe here. Yay! Well done! And we have a triangle. Where we should go? Hmm. Here. No. Here. No. Oh, look! There is another triangle. And it goes on top of it. Yay! Well done! Then we have another peep. But we need, I think, another another cubes to be able to complete the puzzle so we're gonna leave it here for now we have three cubes let's see where we can put our fish we have number seven wow it will definitely go somewhere here between number eight and number nine let's open another box what color do you want to open let's open the green one ready steady Another two cubes. We have three, sh four shapes. One, two, three, four, and three fishes. Okay, let's start with shape. We have a rectangle. Where should we belong? Hmm, maybe here. No. Maybe here. No. Oh, look, two holes 
and it goes here perfectly. Now let's see where we can put our circle. Hmm, maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Wow, look! Yay! Well done! Now we have a square and a pentagon. Where we should put a pentagon? Hmm, maybe here? Maybe here? No. Maybe here? Yes! Well done! And the square will go here. Well done! Yay! Now let's see what we have with our fishes. We have number 10 and it definitely will be the last number. So I'm going to put it here. And we have number 6. Number 6 goes before 7 but after 5. So we're going to put it before number 7 and we will need to put number 5 somewhere here. And look, we have another of two cubes and I think we can see if we can make something from the rabbit. Okay, I think this one will go, it will be the first cube of the top row. This will be in the middle, his body. We have his ears. No. Oh, no. Look, I think this will go here because it's the cloud and the blue thing. It's matching. And the carrot, I think the carrot will be somewhere here. Oh no, look, it's here. We nearly completed it. And the ear, I think it will be the second ear. It will be somewhere here, maybe. Okay, let's open the another box and find out if we have another keeps. Let's open the yellow one. Ready, steady, go! Whoa! We have another three shapes and only one cube? What? Oh! <gasps> Look, it's the face! I think I know where it should be. Let's put it here. Yes, well done. And this one? Hmm, I don't feel like it will be here, but let's leave it for now. Okay, let's see what we can do with our shapes. We have another rectangle. And where should we put it? Maybe here? No, maybe here, no, oh no, look, two yellow rectangles and the third one will go here, well done, let's see where we can put our triangle, can you help me guys, maybe here, maybe here, oh no, it will go here, look, another triangle, and let's see where we can put our square. Hmm, where it should go? Maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Here? Yay! Well done! And let's see what fish we have. We have number two. And number two goes after one, but before number three. Look, and we have number one and number three and the number two goes in the middle of those numbers. Well done, we nearly completed everything. Let's open the blue box now. Wow, another cube. And one, two, three, four, four shapes and two fishes. Let's start with shape. We have a circle. Where do you think we should put it? Maybe here? No. Look, definitely go here. Yes! Let's see where we can put our square. Hmm. Maybe here? Maybe here? No. Look! Yes! Well done! Let's see where we can put our rectangle. Hmm, maybe here? No, it looks like there is a lot. 
maybe here. No. Oh, look, yellow and yellow. It will go here. Yes. Well done. And let's see where we can put our pentagon. It's one. There is two. There is three. There is four. But there is five. And there is five holes. Let's put it here. Yay. Well done. Let's see. We have another cube. Good. Let's see what we have here. Look, another ears. I think this one will go here. And then this, this part of ear will definitely go here. Oh, yay! Well done! And we have two fishes. We have fish number five and fish number nine. The fish number nine goes before number ten. And we have number 10, so we're gonna put the fish number 9 here. But fish number 5 goes before 6 and after 4. And we have number 6, so we're gonna put number 5 here. And we have our last box. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. We have two cubes, three shapes, and two fishes. Let's start with the shapes. We have a circle. Okay, guys, the last circle. We, by now, we should know where to put it. Maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Definitely, it will go here. Well done. Now, we have our triangle. Where we should put it? Maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Yes, it will go here. Well done. And the last is our pectagon. Okay. On the first try, we should put it... Well done. Exactly. Here. Yay! We have completed our shapes. Let's move on onto our cubes let's find the two last pieces that we're missing on the rabbit look i see some carrot and i think the carrot if the carrot is here then the carrot here will be as well look oh yes and the last one guys oh wait oh another carrot and the tail look this one will go here Yay! We have completed the rabbit! Well done! And now we have only two fishes left. We have fish number four and fish number eight. The fish number four goes before five but after three. And we have number three and number five. So the fish four goes between those numbers. And we have the last fish number eight number eight goes before number nine but after number seven so we're gonna put it here because we have number seven and number nine and we're gonna put it here in the middle well done look we have completed all the fishes all the puzzles and all the shapes again we have an orange circle a yellow rectangle a green triangle, a blue square, and a red pentagon. Then we have a rabbit, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, of consisted of nine cubes. Well done, guys. And we have completed all ten fishes. Look, we have fish number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six number seven number eight number nine and number ten well done guys see you soon bye bye and today we're gonna try to solve all the puzzle game on this board so we have dolphin puzzle pieces we have fruit puzzle piece i'm gonna learn about the fruits i'm also gonna learn how to count till 10 and we have different fishes so we're gonna put this away in our crayons, in our colorful crayons, and let's start. 
Oh, where did they go? We don't have puzzles and we don't have fruits. Hmm, let's try to find them. Let's look at these crayons. So one of each crayons contains the fruits and puzzle pieces. Okay, let's start with our first pink crayon. Let's take it and let's shake it. Okay, here we have puzzle pieces and we also have a fish. And let's do one by one. Let's start with our puzzle pieces. And as we said before, we're gonna find the puzzle pieces for the dolphin. Okay, we have the corner puzzle piece and the side puzzle piece. Okay, where we should place them? Let's look at this one, the first corner puzzle piece. And you can see here that this part of the image matches the puzzle. So we can try to place it here like that. And then we have the puzzle piece where we have the part of the dolphin. And it should be somewhere here. So let's try to place it like this. Great, we've combined our two puzzle pieces. Let's move on to our fruit board. And here we have cherries. And let's think together where we can place the cherries on this board. So we have two of them. And let's place it, yes, let's place it here. Great. Let's continue with the next one. And here we have orange. And let's think where we can place. Maybe we can place it here. No, the orange doesn't have leaf. So let's try to place it like this. Great, we found our two fruits. And we also have our fish and it's a pink color fish. And this fish is number seven. Okay, let's place fish like, he like this here. And let's pick our next crayon. And our next crayon gonna be, yes, it's gonna be red crayon. Let's open, let's shake it. And look, we have new stuff here. We have new puzzle pieces, new fruit and new fishes. But let's start with our puzzle pieces. And let's turn around them together. So we have side puzzle pieces. So we can only place them on a side, right? And it's go same for this one. So let's think together where we can place them. So here, we have the part of the dolphin again. And you can see here, I think it's somewhere there. So let's place it right now at this place. And think where we can take the next one, where we can put it. And I think the next one we can combine with the corner puzzle piece. So here we have the tail of the dolphin. And here we have the corner puzzle piece. Let's connect them together like this. Great. And here we have a pear, and pear we can place somewhere on the board. And I think it should go here because it's the same shape as the pear. So let's try. Great. And let's continue with the fishes. And we have fish number three. And it's a red color fish. Let's place it here. And here we have fish number four. It goes right after the number three fish, like this. Great. We already found so many stuff, but let's continue with our puzzle adventure. You are doing super. And let's take our next crayon, which would be the blue crayon. Let's shake it and let's open it. Okay, we have, we have fruit, we have puzzle piece and we have fish. Let's start with the puzzle piece. We have corner puzzle piece. And you can see here that we have small star that's smiling. And let's look at this small image. And here we can see that the star is here. So we can place it right in that corner. And then we have a fish. And this fish is number nine. And it's a blue fish. Let's place it somewhere here. So it goes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And next one we have 
lemon. And let's think where we can place the lemon. It might be, it might go here, but it, but the lemon is too huge for this shape. Let's try to place it here, like this. Great. Let's continue with our puzzle adventure. And the next one we're gonna pick, gonna be the yellow crayon. And look, we also found the new fruit and it's a watermelon. And let's think together where we can place the watermelon. And it's our secret watermelon that we found by accident. It was, it was after the crayon when we picked like this. Okay, let's think where we can place. I think it should go here because it's really big for, for any other shape. Great, we found our secret bonus watermelon. Let's take our yellow crayon and let's shake like this. Let's open it. Okay, we have different puzzle pieces and fishes and we don't have any fruits. Okay, let's start with the puzzle pieces. And we have corner puzzle piece. And here we have a mouth of dolphin. And I think it should go here because it's a corner puzzle piece. And let's take the next one. And the next one is the body of the dolphin. And I think it might go somewhere here. Let's try. Let's try. Yes, great. We found already so many puzzle pieces. And we also found two fishes. One is yellow color and it's number one. And another one is six number and it's pink color. So let's think together where we should place them. So the counting always starts with number one. So one goes here, then goes two that we still need to find, then goes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's try to find other fishes, other fruits, and other puzzle pieces. And let's complete this big puzzle game. And let's take this brown crayon and let's shake it. And let's see if we have something there. Let's open. Wow, we have so many things here. And let's start with puzzle pieces. And we have two puzzle pieces. And we have corner puzzle piece and we have side puzzle piece. And this side puzzle piece, we should turn like this because here is the mouth of the dolphin and here is the mouth of the dolphin. So we can connect them together and we can have completed another puzzle piece for our board. And another one is also corner puzzle piece. And here we can see on the image, it matches this puzzle piece. We can place it like this. Great. We only left with three puzzle pieces. Great. Congratulations. But let's continue with other things. And we found two fruits. We found the green apple. And we need to place somewhere on the board. And let's try here. No, it doesn't go here because it's still a place. So it's a bigger fruit than the apple. So I think the green apple should go here. Great, we found the place for the green apple. And here we have the fruit called lime. And lime is really small. And it, I think it should go maybe here, maybe here, or maybe here. So maybe let's try here. No, it's too big. Maybe let's try here. No, it's too big. And maybe the last one. Yes, it works. And we also found the fish number 10 and it's a violet color. So let's place it here and let's count. One, two, we need to find the number two, three, four, five. We still need to find the number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great. And we only left with two crayons, with orange crayon and with green crayon. So let's take, yes, the green crayon and let's open it, shake it and open it like this. And here we have different puzzle pieces, fish and different and a lot of fruits. We have three fruits. 
So let's take the puzzle pieces first and, and then continue with other stuff. So let's see what we have here. Here we have the side puzzle piece and here we see the eye of the dolphin. So here is the eye of the dolphin and it matches. So we're gonna place it, yes, like this here. Great. And here we have another side puzzle piece and we should place it here. It's a rock and here is a bit of grass. Let's place it here. Great, we only left with one puzzle piece. Okay, let's continue with our fruits. And we have three different fruits. We have red apple, we have peach, and we have plum. Okay, and red apple, it's called red because it's a red color. Okay, and we should place the red apple, yes, here. And then we have a peach. Let's think together where we can place the peach. Maybe it could go here. You see, it's too big for this place. So we cannot put it here. We need to find another one. Maybe here. Yes, it works pretty well. And another one is plum. Where we can place the plum. It's really small and it has the violet color. Maybe it should go here. No, it's too big for this place. Maybe it could go here. No, it's too big for the shape. And the last place where we can put it would be this one. Let's do it together. Yes, great. We've placed the plum and we almost completed our fruit board. And the fish that we found is green color and it has the number five. Okay, let's think together. We can place the number five. We have number one, number two, number three, number four. And after number four, it always goes the number five. Great. We only need to find two more fishes. So let's continue with our puzzle game. And when we only have a last crayon and let's shake it. Let's open. All right. We have puzzle piece. We have fish. We have different fruits. So let's start with puzzle piece. And this is our last puzzle piece. But it's also really interesting because we need to turn around the puzzle piece to make it match our image. And we turn around nicely and let's place it. Amazing, we completed our puzzle piece with dolphin. So then the next one that we're gonna complete gonna be the fruit puzzle board. So let's take the raspberry and let's think together where we can place. And you can see it has really curly shapes. So maybe it could go here. Let's turn around. No, it doesn't go. I think it's because we turn around the not the right way. Let's turn around again like this. And let's place it. Great. Well done. And the next one we have the strawberry. And the strawberry is only one place where we can put it. So let's do it together. One, two, three. Great. We completed our fruit puzzle board and we only left with two fishes. We have fish number two and we have fish number eight. So let's start with fish number two and we should, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hey! Congratulations, we completed the whole puzzle game. We, we found all the fishes, we found all the fruits, and we found all the puzzle pieces. So we completed the puzzle piece for the dolphin, and we found a red apple, orange, peach, cherry, lemon, lime, strawberry, pear, green apple, plum, raspberry, and watermelon. And we found all our fishes. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. You're done this amazing. See you in the next video. And today we're gonna solve the puzzle about two dogs and this puzzle is called Be Kind. Okay, let's start. Let's open the puzzle and it is Paw Patrol. Yay! So let's open it 
and see. Okay, great. And let's start with searching for the corner puzzle piece, right? So that's what we're gonna start with. So that we have, this is the first corner puzzle piece, right? So we have another corner puzzle piece. So it's a corner, right? We need to find another. Oh, it's a third one, great. And there is the, yeah, fourth one. So we found four corner puzzle piece. And let's look at the image and see where we can place them. So here we have a butterfly and butterfly is on the top right corner. So we're gonna place it here. And this one is on a top two. So here we have the flower, right? It's there behind that Paw Patrol. So let's place it here. Okay. And then we have the letter B. So here is the B letter, B kind, so B, right? So we're gonna place it here. And then another corner piece, we're gonna place at the bottom right corner. So first, what we're gonna do, we have the word B kind at the bottom. So let's try to find the puzzle pieces for the word B kind. So we need to find E, K, I, N, and D letters. So let's start to search for them. So there is the E letter, right? So let's turn around all of them one by one and see where the other words. Can you see the other puzzle pieces that have the words? I can see them. So there is the first one, the second one. Let's take them and let's place them here and then continue our discovery. So let's turn around this one, right? So there is Okay, there is also this one is the letter, this one, is, this one, and this one. Let's take them all together and let's move them to our puzzle. Okay, so we have a lot of letters here, right? Okay, let's start with the letter B. So there is the B part of the B here and E, right? So we can combine them like this. Great. And let's take the next letter. So what next letter we have here is letter K. Okay, and here we have the letter K here. So we can combine it like this. Great, and after K, what letter we have? Letter I, so it's B kind, so it's letter I. Let's connect them. Yes, great. And the last letter we have is the letter D. So let's connect. Yes, we have B kind. Let's take this one. So it's a part of the D letter. And let's combine like this. Great. Let's take another one. And here we have the letter K and the letter I. So we can connect like this. Great. And another we have letter E, right? So letter E goes here. So there is the heart and letter E and K. Great, let's connect them. And another one, what we have here is letter N, right? No. So we're gonna connect like this. Great, amazing. And the last one gonna be for the letter B, the part. Let's connect. Yes, so we completed the B kind. So if you look at the, at the package, you see that there's B kind, and we just completed the B kind by finding the puzzle pieces for all the letters. So that's what we were focused on. And right now, what we're gonna be focused is that we're gonna focus on the side puzzle pieces. So we're gonna go like this, right? So let's start. So here we have the side puzzle piece. Let's try to find the side puzzle piece. Is there where we have one side like this, right? So we need to find all the side puzzle pieces, right? This one is the side puzzle piece. This one is the side, right? This one with the heart, the side puzzle piece, another side puzzle piece. Maybe let's take this one is the side puzzle piece. And this one, this. Can you see any other? I can see, I can see. So there is another one, right? Can you see any more? No, there is no any. So let's start. So here we have the part of the bow. And here is the part of the post. So let's try to connect them like this. Great. And next one, what we have, if we look at the image, we have here the mouth and the heart, right? 
So here is the mouth and there is the heart. So let's try to go. So here is the heart and here is the mouth. Let's connect. Ray, you're doing amazing. And let's then take our eye. And if we look at the package, we can see that there is the eye and then it starts the rainbow, right? So we're gonna take the eye and connect. Ray, you're doing amazing. So the next one thing's gonna be about the rainbow. So let's think which the next puzzle we should take. So there is two puzzle pieces that represents the rainbow, but which one gonna work? So we're gonna try to test. Is it this one? Yeah, it goes pretty well, so it's this one, correct. And then let's take the our corner puzzle piece, right? Like this, Ray. So let's then think about the top side puzzle pieces. What could be on the top? So on the top, we could see that there is the rainbow on the top, right? The orange color. So let's take the puzzle pieces with the rainbow like this. And let's try to connect, right? So let's try this one. So here we have a flower. Here we have a rainbow. So here also we have a flower. Let's connect like that. Great. And let's take the next one, rainbow. So maybe it's this one. Let's try. Ray, and we just need to find the puzzle piece that would connect the butterfly and the rainbow. And I think it's this one because here we have the wings of the butterfly and the part of the rainbow. So let's try to connect them together like this. Amazing, we completed the top puzzle pieces. And we just need to complete this side, right? So if you look at the package, we can see that there is, goes from the top to the bottom, from butterfly till the legs of the dog, right? Let's try to find them. And where we're gonna start, it's gonna be the legs of the dog. So if we look, here is the heart and here is the legs of the dog. And if we're gonna look at the package, here is also the heart and legs of the dog. So let's try to combine like this, great. And let's then take another one. And next one, what we're gonna take, gonna be the butterfly because the butterfly would be easy to connect. So we need to find the parts of the butterfly, right? And there is the small parts of the butterfly that we could connect. And let's try, press softly, great. And then we have the ending of the rainbow here. So then starts the ear of the dog. Let's take it like this and place and press Ray. And the last one, side puzzle, because we don't have any more side puzzle pieces here, then last one would be this one. So let's connect like this. Ray, we connected the puzzle pieces here. So we connected the right side puzzle pieces, the top, the left and the bottom. So right now we're gonna work in the middle of the puzzle piece. And where we're gonna start to work is by connecting the side puzzle pieces with those puzzle pieces that needs to be found and connected. So let's try this one. Here is the eye of the dog. And here we can see that there is the eye of the dog. So let's try to connect. Great, amazing. And let's then try to find the badge of the dog. So you can see there is the badge. And if you look at the package, we also have here like a small badge, right? And here we have a small badge. So let's try to connect down here, right? And let's do it. Great, amazing. And let's then take, and let's then work through. So then we have a paw of the dog. So let's look at this one. Here we also have the paw of the dog. Here we have a mouth of the dog, right? And let's try to connect like this. Yes, works pretty well. And the next one is the face of the second dog, right? So here is the mouth. And if we look in the package again, if I go back to the package, we could see that there is the mouth and there is the eyes, right? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna try to combine. Yes, goes really well. And then we're gonna take the second eye of the dog. And here is the eye and here's the part of that. Yes, great. And the last one gonna be the clothes and the badge of the dog. So here's the parts of the dog and here it's missing, right? So we're gonna try to connect. Yes, you're doing really well. And the next one gonna be, we're gonna start with the helmets, uh, 
with the heads of the of the dog so here is the one piece and here is the another so here is the part of the dog and here is the head of the dog right so we're gonna collect yes really good and then we have another head of the dog and ear so let's try to connect like this amazing and we are only left with three puzzle pieces for the rainbow so let's take them together and let's see where we can place them so this one we can do maybe we can do like this no because we have here different colors so if we're gonna turn around and we're gonna plat press it softly then yes it works and if we're gonna take this one and we're gonna place it on the right side let's try it yes it works and another one what we need to do here we need to turn around because the white thing is closing right so we need to press like this and we completed the wolf puzzle and this puzzle is called be kind so we started with the corner pieces this one right then we try to find the, all the side puzzle pieces and after we completed the border of this puzzle we started to go through one by one through each dog and then the last that we've completed was the rainbow and we've done this really good well done congratulations amazing thank you kids bye see you next time don't forget to subscribe